All right, welcome to another quarantine phone conversation on our podcast. Uh, once again, we have Suzanne Muldowney, and she has a special topic to uh, tell us about today. So, Suzanne, what are, what are you going to tell us? Um, I'm talking about uh, a character I created for the uh, Jersey Shore, at least part of the Jersey Shore. Uh, today is her 27th birthday. I uh, see. And then which character is that? Is that, uh, is that anything to do with the television show, Jersey Shore, or something different? Um, uh, no, it's a, it's a, the, the, the character, the character is a territorial mascot. Her name is Shelly, the South Jersey Shore Mermaid. Uh, I see. So she has nothing to do with Snooky or Situation or any of those characters. Uh, that was from the TV show Jersey Shore. When, when was that? I never heard of it. I think a couple of years ago, and then it's still on. I think I don't know if it's reruns. So I don't really watch it, but I think what, it might be still on. What, what part of the state? Well, I think it was Seaside, yeah, Jersey Shore. Um, oh yes, I'm. I, um, my. My uncle Joseph sometimes um, had my parents and, and me go there. Seaside, Seaside Heights, uh, but that's but that's farther north uh, in the state. That's not that's not part of the territory that uh, uh, that Shelley represents. Oh, so, so how did you decide to create a character that, that has a territory that, that she's? Uh... A representative of. Um, it started in uh, 1988. Um, that was when I started making uh, appearances in uh, Ocean City. You know, as a as a as a as a goodwill ambassador, I became acquainted with the director of public relations, uh, Mark Soiper. Now he had uh, he had created uh, two character mascots. Uh, uh, for Ocean City, but uh, um, but they were both male mascots. Um, one was uh, Martin C. Mollusk, a hermit crab, the uh, indigenous to the uh, oceanfront locale. Uh, the other character was uh, Trash Buster, which Mr. Shell, which 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 which, which Mr. Soifer played himself. Um, but uh, but Trash Buster was basically just an ordinary human being and could make appearances virtually. Anywhere, Mr. Soiper admitted that he made many live uh, Crash Buster appearances beyond the maritime zones. So those mascots seem nice, but the, there wasn't any female mascot. If only I could create something, what could I do? Um, Jersey Shore, uh, let's see, Ocean City, right on the ocean front. Of course, a mermaid! It's indigenous to the locale, and it's one of the most uh, popular uh, mythical creatures. Right. So, so you look at a mermaid as a positive character. Well, is there something wrong? It's a positive character. It's supposed to be a representative of goodwill, a, a female mascot. Uh, um, why? Why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't she be something positive? Oh, I'm just asking because there isn't a part of the legend that they sing and kind of lure the sailors into the shallow waters so they can sink their ships. No, no those, no, those, um, those were the sirens, and uh, uh, they were. There was a limited group of them in just one specific area. Oh, so what, what would be a difference between a mermaid and a siren? Maybe uh, you know, people don't know. Not, I, I'm curious. Um. Um, from the waist down, uh, mermaids have bodies uh, like fish, but the sirens were um, shape-wise just regular human females. Oh, okay, so what what's the mythical role of a mermaid? Um, she likes to. Um, beat herself every once in a while to interact with uh, uh, the human 
the human beings uh, right in the area. That's impo- that's that's important to remember. Every um, mythical or alleged mermaid sighting was on or close to the land, not way out at sea. Okay, and so what what does your costume look like for people who? Can you describe it? I'm wearing a phone, but I, I can. I'll do my best. It's a it's a long uh, turquoise gown uh, with uh, spaghetti straps. It bears the neck and shoulders. Um, the skirt's narrow, but it has a big uh, fluffy ruffle on the bottom edge. Um, sometimes it's called a flounce, and that serves as the fish's tail. And there are two um, uh, shield-like uh, flaps of uh, fabric uh, at the back where where the basic skirt and the ruffle meet. Those are my fins. Um, the way the gown's designed, the, uh, um, I'm, I'm free for normal walking. And and where did you wear that outfit? Like when did you perform anything with that, or where where do you use it? Um. Well, the very first time, the very first time I wore it was uh, was at uh, Ocean City's annual spring block party. As a matter of fact, um, that's that's the day that Shelley made her debut. Uh, the spring block party was on May first, nineteen ninety three. That's why she's 27 today. Okay, and we're talking about Ocean City, New Jersey. Um, what, what about it? Well, so people don't get confused because there's Ocean City, Maryland. And, yeah, we're talking about Ocean City, New Jersey. Yes. Um, I hope there aren't a whole slew of other ocean cities and other in other oceanfront parts of the country. Well, there are, there are a few, but that's why I said you know, Ocean City, New Jersey, so people know that you're not talking about Maryland or something else. All right. Well, when I first made the suggestion to uh, about the mermaid mascot to uh, Mr. Soifer, he was adamant at first, but then after a while, uh, he gave in. But he insisted, um, I wanted the mermaid to represent just Ocean City the way the other two mascots did. But he said, no, she should represent the whole of the shore from uh, from Brigantine, which is just, just north of Atlantic City, um, to Cape May, which is the uh, southernmost point uh, in uh, New Jersey. Um, now, because that part of the state was called the Southern Shore in travel brochures, um, I insisted that the mermaid's name for alliterative purposes should begin with an S. Okay, so tell us the full name again. Hmm? So tell us the full name of the character once again. Shelley, the South Jersey Shore Mermaid. Okay, the, the, okay so does she uh, sell s- seashells by the seashore or no? <laughs> no, she doesn't. But she does carry a large gold plastic shell. Okay, but that's uh, now I think I have some photographs of uh, the costume. Uh, I'll I'll put it up. No, 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 hold on a minute. I got to I got to explain some more of the process about how uh, Shelley got her full name title. Um since the part of the state she was to represent was called the Southern Sh- in uh, uh travel brochures, her name should begin alliteratively with an S. She was called Shelley the Southern Shore Mermaid, but then the last few days uh, before she was to premiere, uh, I suddenly had an awful thought. Uh, what if there were visitors to the block party where she would premiere that were from farther south in the country? Uh, there might be visitors from any other ocean front eastern state be- from Virginia to Florida, those visitors might think uh, Shelley represented the Deep South. So I had to say, no, she has to be called the South Jersey Shore Mermaid. Yeah, we don't want people to be confused. That's right. 
Okay, so there's anything more about her, or is this uh, kind of a short little interview about the, the anniversary of Shelley? Um, she, she, she used to, Ocean City used to go enthusiastically for She used to be in a number of events, but then when Mr. Soiper retired um, three or four years ago, his successor uh, took Shelley out of the uh, uh, events for which she had been uh, established as a regular. Now she hardly gets to uh, appear in Ocean City or any other shorefront town uh, within the territory she represents. Oh, so, so why do you think the uh, the new person took her out? Someone said about his knowing this whole slew of uh, bands, uh, singers, uh, uh, acrobats, uh, clowns, all sorts of performers that uh, um, he knew uh, personally so that when he wanted any entertainers for events he was in charge of, he automatically uh, picked his own uh, secret pals, his minions, so to speak. And, uh, and, 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 and Shelly, well, she might say she depreciated in value like, the, like a used car. Now she's on hard times. Oh, that's terrible. That's uh, it's a case of nepotism. The, the <laughs> Shelly would be replaced by some clowns and, and acrobats. Well, well, also because performers like that, you, you can find just about anywhere. They're not exclusive to maritime locales. Right, and they're not unique. Your characters are unique. But Shelly is indigenous to the ocean from Locale. Right, so I think she should uh, fight against the clowns. What do you think? It's up to the people who are in charge of events to decide whether or not to uh, engage me as Shelly. Now, uh, um, I can't be sure that that many other oceanfront towns between Brigantine and Cape May even know she exists because. Uh, um, um, in the past, only Ocean City went was really that enthusiastic for. And now, like I said, she uh, she fell on hard times. May I repeat that was uh, three or four years ago. That this has nothing to do with the current uh, virus scare. Right, but so you would like to know any any ocean from town is is uh, the Shelley would be available to perform anywhere in the Jersey Shore if they're interested. Place along the South Jersey Shore between Brigantine and, and Cape May. That includes uh, that, in, that includes the largest metropolis of the area, Atlantic City. Okay, so if the town from the northern side called you, you you wouldn't do it. What do you mean, the North Shore? Yes. Um. Well, I suppose I could, but they would have to advertise me beforehand as the South Jersey Shore mermaid. She she's made an extra long distance journey to be um, in territory beyond her own. Okay, but you but you're open for it. Hmm? But you're open for the invitation. Yes. Well, well also there was one time um, um, since since 1990, I've been in, in uh, Memorial Day Parade in Falls Church, Virginia. That's about 15 miles west of D.C. There was one year that I did go as Shelley, and I had the uh, commentator say that she swam an extra long distance to be here. Okay, so she's, she's open for guest appearances out of the state if, uh, if it's appropriate. Okay, well, um, do you have anything else about Shelley or is the discover? Um, in 2018, when uh, um, Ocean City had its annual uh, Duda Parade, uh, Shelley won the Golden Hot Dog Award because it was her 25th anniversary. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty prestigious award. Yes. Um, I might as well let you know now, in, in the year 2023, 
it'll be Shelley's uh, 30th anniversary, and I intend to go all out for her. Okay, so do you have any plans already, or are you, are you going to plan? Well, uh, well, um, events that I normally participate in, depending on the uh, location or maybe the time of year, uh, I, I might appear as her. Okay. Well, we'll look forward to that. Yeah, um, uh, the reason, um, yeah, I spoke about the design of the gown. See, I, I originally saw in 1989 uh, in a fabric store in Philadelphia a photograph of a wedding gown, and uh, um, the, the, the skirt was designed the same way I made the Shelly gown later, narrow skirt with large ruffle at the bottom edge, and the ruffle was termed a fishtail, and the wearer's feet were free for normal walking. Originally, Mr. Schleifer thought, if I'm supposed to be a mermaid, do, do my legs have to be encased in something, like a, like a sleeping bag, so that I need uh, assistance being conveyed wherever I went? And then when I saw that uh, picture of the wedding gown uh, and, and, and knew the answer to uh, uh, being able to walk normally, um, I, that was really a load off my back. Um, uh, yeah, remember uh, remember the movie Splash? Yes, yeah, with Tom Hanks. Well, and Daryl Hannah played mermaid. Madison the mermaid. Now, every time that mermaid beached herself, uh, her 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 fish body from the waist down uh, transformed into human legs. Now, with Shelley, I'd imagine that uh, any time she beaches herself, her tail splits open and human legs grow out. Okay, well, that, yeah, that's an interesting movie from uh, the 80s. Right? Well, that's also why she would be able to uh, walk normally no matter where she's engaged to appear. Uh, she, could be, uh, she could be on the Pacific coast or um, in the middle of the country um, and, and still be able to walk uh, and still be able to walk normally because of the way the gown is designed. Right. Well, it has to be practical. What do you mean? Well, it would be impractical if you couldn't walk. <laughs> of course. Because um, I've, I've seen a lot of uh, mermaid costumes in which the wearer's legs were in taste, or maybe they were standing straight up and... Uh, from the waist down, were immersed in tanks or something with pieces of cloth folded over the edge that looked like uh, um, the, the fish body and tail from the from the waist down. Um, um, yeah, one one parade that I've been in a few times as Shelley was the uh, Mermaid Parade at Coney Island, but I stopped uh, doing that one because at least half the participants were very immodestly dressed. Now, 2018 was supposed to be my last time in it because of the Shelley's uh, 25th anniversary. I was unable to get travel tickets. Right, yeah. And I remember you were really upset you didn't make it. Well, I was going to, well Shelley was going to finish off uh, on a high note in the Mermaid Parade, and then she never got to make the trip. Well, would you go back for the 30th? I doubt it. See, as I kept going year after year, not always with Shelley, but uh, sometimes some other mermaid, um, it was increasingly difficult to get to and from it because you had to go through uh, um, a multitude of different uh, uh, transit systems, uh, uh, change modes of transportation every once in a while, and then uh, um, uh, the parade site itself was uh, quite some distance from um, the starting or finishing point uh, of the itinerary. Because it's too much of trouble for you to get there. Well, it was also uh, too much trouble for the uh, New Yorker who had to be my uh, chaperone every time. Well, that was Phil usually, right? Yes. Okay. All right, Suzanne. Well, thank you very much for another uh, another interview and an explanation of one of your characters. Uh, I oh, hope people enjoy I it. Need to I want to tell uh, I want to 
I want to tell everybody uh, something. Uh, I hope they still have time. Anybody who's interested enough uh, in Shelly to salute her tonight at dinner, um, well, it's a commercial plug for a specific product, but the artwork on the containers makes it most appropriate. Um, as many people as can still get it at the store should eat chicken of the sea tuna. Uh, I see. So are you sponsored by Chicken of the Sea or is this just a... No, 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 I'm not sponsoring it. I I emphasize it because the artwork on the cans has always included a mermaid. Oh, okay. So that that but that's you wanna point out that that's not mermaid meat, it's actually tuna fish. That's right. Yeah, we shouldn't but, be eating but, mermaid. But the artwork has but the, but the container's artwork has always had a mermaid on it. So anybody who wants, who seems to have gone for Shelly, who wants to uh, carry any kind of celebration or salute to her, uh, should eat chicken of the sea tuna uh, at dinner time or sometime uh, uh, before the end of today. We should all open up a can of chicken of the sea and, and raise it and salute. <laughs> Okay, well, on that note, Suzanne, uh, we'll end it, and uh, thank you again, and we'll speak soon. Okay, thanks a lot. All right, bye-bye.